Somebody asked me to do a video about the Walter Kurtz character that appeared in the actual novel by uh, Joseph Conrad, Heart of Darkness. <clears throat> Heart of Darkness is one of my favorite novels, and it doesn't exactly paint the human race in a favorable light. Um, where do I feel, first of all, that the that Apocalypse Now change, uh, differs from the novel? Well, in Apocalypse Now, I think um, the main issue was uh, it wasn't really a movie about Vietnam. It was a movie set in Vietnam. But the issue was, I suppose, um, an issue that was raised by the Vietnam, Vietnam War. Everyone was complaining about the fact that the U.S. military had to fight the war with one arm tied behind its back. And, um, you know, the issue was raised, what happens if we unleash the other hand? Uh, well, what you get is you get the Walter Kurtz as played by Marlon Brando. A um, bit of a barbarian in the classic sense of the word, um, who has essentially forgotten why he's fighting that war in the first place. We didn't come to Vietnam to obliterate Charlie. We came to Vietnam to promote democracy. Uh, to, I don't know, oppose communism, but opposing it by um, promoting our values and values that we thought that the local people would share. Um, and what happened was Walter Kurtz, Marlon Brando, kind of went the other way. He turned value on its head. He turned Western values on their head in the way that I alluded to a couple of videos ago where you can uh, just switch good to bad and bad to good. Um, he went too far. He kind of decided that Nietzsche's view of survival and will and everything were actually desirable as opposed to just descriptives. I believe Nietzsche was just saying, this is what you are, and there's no point in hiding that. But um, I think that Walter Kurtz in Apocalypse Now said, this is what you are, and being an animal, it, uh, being not just an animal, but a murderous animal. Uh, a savage beast in the pejorative sense is a good thing. Like when he waxed poetical about how brilliant uh, the Viet Cong were by ruthlessly and utterly terrorizing the local inhabitants. Um, that was uh, kind of a wrong conclusion, I think, and I think that was implied in the movie, and again... The jungle wanted him dead at the end because he was sort of imputing some sort of preference to the jungle. The jungle was evil. And again, as I always say, no, the jungle just is. It, uh, it's impartial. Um, and he, the, he became just as much an offense to the jungle as the American insistence, you know, alleged insistence on maintaining utter and total um, Western values at all times when you're trying to fight an insane war. That's equally crazy. Trying to fight a nice war by the standards of Southeast Asian warfare is pretty crazy, but so is deciding that the worst aspects of Southeast Asian warfare are good, <laughs> such as terror, um, atrocity, all this kind of thing. People in Southeast Asia are the most, among the most charming I've ever met in my life, and that's one of the reasons why I like to go back there. When, however, they decide that there's a war to be fought, <laughs> look out. All of the peoples in Southeast Asia will just... They, they just go all out when there's a war on. Uh, the book, the character of Walter Kurtz in the book, hmm, a bit more difficult to read, actually. Um... He seems to me to be something of a victim of somebody who went kind of haywire when he discovered that his view of humanitarianism was not the law of nature. Uh, he didn't really... didn't seem to enjoy being vicious to the natives. He just decided, I have a job to do. Um... I have to get as much ivory as possible for my employer, and I'll get more money that way, of course. And I'll simply do whatever is necessary to, to get it. Um, in Heart of Darkness, the Europeans are shown as really regressing to the level of the jungle uh, rapidly. 
almost as soon as you set foot in Africa, in equatorial jungle Africa. Uh, the ultimate jungle, forest primeval type thing. Um, and uh, the thing is, um, rather than just attacking the Europeans, he also attacks the Africans as being so backward and primitive as to be really not even worthy of any pity. You know, if the Europeans are going to enslave them and, and, uh, and um, you know, commit atrocity against them, what difference does it make? You know, look at them. Look at what they are. You know, who cares? But, at the same time, he doesn't imply that the Europeans have some sort of right to enslave the Africans. Uh, he makes the Europeans out to be savage murderers. Uh, mindless murderers, even. Killing just for no reason. <laughs> just for the sake of doing it. Um... The thing that I would say is, I would think that Heart of Darkness is um, sort of a warning of what happens when moral nihilism might hit you a little bit too suddenly. <laughs> um, you know, Walter Kurtz back in Belgium, I guess, was a fairly upright fellow with a kind heart and a loving wife or girlfriend, I can't remember. Um, and um, he was known to be a good company guy and a you know, nine to five fellow who was the pillar of society. Um, <clears throat> he goes to Africa. Suddenly, he's in a place where nothing makes sense according to the morals of his upbringing and his background and everything. And instead of going 180 degrees the way Kurtz does in Heart of Darkness, he just gets confused and loses his way. He forgets why he's there, why he's doing anything. Um, he's kind of deraciné. He just he doesn't have roots anymore. He doesn't have any place in the world. Um, nothing makes sense to him anymore because his view of morality, his view of ethics, his view of civilization itself was so thoroughly challenged by Africa itself. Um, not by the African people, because they're a product of Africa itself, and you know they're not to be cursed for being as primitive as Conrad says they are. Um, but um, you know he's simply becoming the way they are as a result of their environment. Um, if the Africans are primitive, it's not because they're fundamentally stupid. It's just they've they've been formed in Africa, and Walter Kurtz has come to Africa, and he's become an African. Um, i.e. an inhabitant of the forest primeval uh, but he's got European weapons <laughs> and European organization and the entire civilization of Europe kind of backing him up in a sense um, this is what happens when western civilization becomes savage um, I wouldn't really say that it presages the Nazis because again the Nazis kind of did what the Walter Kurtz of Apocalypse Now did they said that uh, bad is good and good is bad. Um, what would you call what happened to um, what happened to Walter Kurtz in, a, in a Heart of Darkness? He went off to a savage place and he kind of just got caught up in it all and became another person. Um, it, there's evidence that he even forgot why he even bothered to send the ivory back. He's a victim of Africa the same way that the people of Africa are victims of Africa. You know, the what happens when you're um, when you're removed from civilization. And and it's interesting to point out that so long as the Africans are sort of portrayed as um, still being more or less Aboriginal, I guess you'd say, more or less indigenous to Africa, they haven't been in any way Europeanized. They're seen as reasonably um, together. They might have insane or um, utterly alien rules uh, to the Europeans from the European point of view, but they have rules. They have a culture. He, he explains that they, you know, have hierarchies and certain types of dress and everything like that. It's not. <clears throat> it's not as a 19th century writer might say, might not be up to Western scratch in terms of the value of civilization. 
but they're not thoroughgoing savages. There's something in between, and it's only when the two cultures collide that they produce something truly horrible. Um, if we left the Africans to it back in the forest, they'd be half savage, but they would have a functioning society with a structure to it. If we stayed in Europe, we would be fine as Europeans. It's when we go to Africa that we thoroughly lose our way, get completely confused and don't know what direction is up and down and start to behave in completely inexplicable ways. Heart of Darkness is a very enigmatic book and it's very difficult to actually pin down what um, Conrad meant um, by it and what the message was. Again, he, it's not one of these things that's saying that it's not one of these 19th century morality books where, you know, um, say Jack London or something, where civilization was shown to be either shallow or good, or but it was still assumed that civilization was somehow desirable. Um, I think the only point that Conrad was trying to make was civilization is very thin, and human beings are weak, and we react to things as they happen to us. Uh, we're not as much in control of our fate or our existence or even our very, what you call it, our, our nature as we think we are. Uh, you go to Africa and suddenly you're in a milieu where nothing works, the old ways, the European ways. And this, by the same token, the Africans, <clears throat> they come into contact with the Europeans. Nothing had prepared them for this. So again, they had no way of relating to the Europeans. So they succumbed to the slavery, slavery and atrocity of the Europeans. But that doesn't make them either innocent victims or um, cannon fodder. They're just more elements in a meaningless drama. Um, the same thing as the, the Europeans when they're on the boat. <clears throat> and everybody just blindly fires their rifles into woods where they know there are Africans. Uh, no, no reason other than to just kill Africans for the sake of killing Africans. Uh, you know, these people might have been decent people who would never have thought of doing this back in Africa, or back in Europe. But the assumption is that you know you're in the savage jungle. Um, very racist book, but you, know, you could argue that it's racist against white people as much as it is against Africans. Um, a disturbing book, yes. A disturbing into, I guess, our heart of darkness. Um, not darkness as in evil, but darkness as in completely lost. Um, you're sailing up the Congo River into the heart of the void, I guess. Um, the book always reminds me, say, of... Um, um, a horror kind of exploration novel. Uh, I think that it's not it's not completely crazy to, to imply that Heart of Darkness is a horror novel. I don't think it is. I think I think in many ways it is a horror novel. Um, it kind of has the same vibe to it <clears throat> in my reading of the book as um, At the Mountains of Madness by H.P. Lovecraft had, where, you know, Explorers are discovering a place where all the old assumptions are just wiped away apparently effortlessly, and they're they're in a they find out things about their own civilization that just blast their minds out. The explorers in uh, in uh, at the mountains of madness, if anyone has read that novel, and it and the information comes on slowly but remorselessly when they find out that humanity is kind of an accident or a joke or uh, some species that was just created by something else for some very minor purpose. Um, it's the same thing as when uh, they sail up the river to find Walter Kurtz <clears throat> and slowly dawns on them that they're at the edge of everything. And if you're the sort of 19th century idealistic European who believes that you live in the age of progress and that it's all immutable and the First World War hasn't happened yet to disabuse you of that notion, going to Africa and going to, you know, sailing up the Congo River, which at the time was a place that was absolutely notorious for atrocity, mostly European atrocity. Um, the Belgian Congo Company was just the worst of colonialism. 
Um, it's you're, you're basically you're you're flying into the absolute unknown. And I think Walter Kurtz in uh, Heart of Darkness in the novel, he was similar to the one in the movie, but he didn't really ultimately take sides. He simply fell apart, I guess, when he went into Africa. Um, the last vestige of his attachment to the country back home was the fact that he was still trying to find ivory. I it's assumed that he didn't even grasp anymore why he was doing it. It's just all of, all of what he was just melted away and disintegrated. And then, you know, at the end, well, we all know what happened at the end. Um, he's not He's not the strong, sort of, Nazi ubermenschish kind of character that Marlon Brando's Walter Kurtz is. I think he's just a very strong European that was slowly but inexorably um, knocked down to size by the reality of the precariousness of human existence. And he just sort of disintegrated. His, um, however strong he was, however good he was, the realities of life the universe and everything <laughs> um, wore him down <laughs> long video uh, but um, an interesting subject and I wanted to re respond to it I got the message about a week ago um, and I may actually for about the umpteenth time read Heart of Darkness again because of it um, I think I like that novel not because I like the creepiness of it all where you're stepping outside of all accepted norms, and Conrad takes you into that world very effectively. Um, not because of that, but I think that I like the idea of being constantly reminded that I live in an artificial construct. I don't, I don't dislike the civilization I live in, but I'm not as attached to it, I don't think, as everybody else is, and I like to sort of think or I like to remind myself just how artificial it all is. And Heart of Darkness and other kind of horror adventure novels like it, um, somewhat dystopian, are very good at um, painting a picture where, or uh, illustrating how easily our view of ourselves and our civilization can be smashed to atoms. In other words, just how superficial it all is. Where I differ with the movie Apocalypse now is I don't think that we are at heart um, simple, blind killers. Uh, I'd say, sure, there's a big chunk of that in us, but there's a lot more as well, even though it's contradictory. It is there. Um, and in a sense, I guess, even the jungle wanted him dead. That implied in the movie that, yeah, it's... Sorry, Walter, you're, you, you've missed it. You've missed the point here. Um, the jungle isn't horrible. It just is. Um, and I think that that point was more effectively made in Heart of Darkness, the novel, um, because by the end of it, the jungle had decisively won on all counts, and it didn't even feel the need to gloat over anything. Um, the jungle was, in a sense, under attack by civilization, and the jungle won. <laughs> um... But once the jungle fought off its challenger, i.e. Kurtz, it just went back to being itself. And it, you know, it didn't really um, feel the need to attack Western civilization, I guess, is the way that I would put it. It's just... The arrogance of 19th century Western culture um, set itself up for challenges like Heart of Darkness, I think. Um, it was just so sure that Western civilization was the best that had ever been created, that white people were absolutely and inherently superior, um, that kind of thing. That, you know, it's, I, I find it almost inevitable that Conrad would have written his book or somebody would have written something like it. You know, Lord of the Flies, uh, same idea. Just how superficial um, our civilization actually is. But wipe away that which is superficial and we, we split over what results um, I don't think that anything coherent actually results I think um, 
it's not a case of let's be the meanest mofos around. It's just, okay, so we've wiped out one thing that we like, our civilization. What's going to replace it? It's not guaranteed to be horrible or hellish, but it might, you know, it's, it is guaranteed to be very, very, very different. And I guess dark. Uh, dark, as in impenetrable, as in unknowable, as in nonsensical compared to everything that we had taken for granted before. Um, everybody knows that I don't think that, a, that an existential crisis of that sort or a, you know something akin to that automatically leads to you know complete implosion the way Zopfe does in The Last Messiah um, but it can <laughs> but it doesn't necessarily do that I would say the, the lesson of uh, Walter Kurtz and Heart of Darkness in the novel is that um, well there are no lessons <laughs> Um, the world just is. 